Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, hope you're well. Well, I'll tell you a little trick. If you want to control the me uh, the messaging, if you want to control the narrative around a given situation, what you do, you take what happened, you chop off the beginning, and maybe even the middle, and just show the end. And try and make a situation look totally and utterly different to what it is. You see, no matter what happens in life, everything happens for a reason. Everybody reacts to a situation for a reason. I'm of course referring to what happened in Manchester primarily. And we'll come to that in a second. But what you get, you get a, a, an occurrence of something. People react in a certain way. And then you get an outcome. Now, what the mainstream media are very good at doing, and by God, there's some YouTubers that are good at doing this as well, is controlling the narrative. What they do, they take an incident or an occurrence or, or an event, cut out the bits that explain it all, and just leave the end. So then people jump to conclusions. There's a very old saying, to assume makes an ass out of you and me. That's very true. Now, when you look at Manchester, all right, it was brutal, the the actual event, and what we were shown on the television, what we were shown on the internet. By the way, the quality of the picture and everything else looks like it was mobile phone footage taken by somebody. How many other bits of mobile phone footage were there taken by somebody? And we've just been shown the end. Paz did a, a very good analysis of that situation and said, look at all the different pieces around, uh, you know, the area, the situation, the female police officer, what happened to her, what instigated this issue in the first place, why did it happen? These are all things that have been missed out because the mainstream media have sensationalised it and got a story out of it. Now, that incident is trending very much, very, very heavily, actually. And the reason is that video, because it's been controlled by the mainstream media. And I've said again, I remember, and I'm old enough to remember when we just got the news, not sensationalism. Well, there's one side effect of this whole affair that's very unfortunate. There's a British Army officer who was stabbed fairly near his barracks by somebody. And that's nowhere to be seen on the news. That should be massive. And the noise from Manchester has completely and utterly subdued the story of the army officer. Again, mainstream narrative, mainstream manipulation. You see the game in play here. They do it all the time, all the time. And it isn't great. And you end up relying on people like me, people like Paz and everybody else to pull it apart and see what really happened. They don't have the narrative anymore. The world's too much of a bigger place. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, give me a share. I put the link to Paz's video in the description so you can check that out. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.